Hello, my name is Stella, and today I will talk about Korean etiquettes. Korean etiquettes are very important to Korean people, and we keep saying that Korean etiquettes are really important, and then they focus on older people or more really important people. And we should respect Korean etiquettes when you're in Korea because it is Korean etiquettes, as you know. And I will talk about two of them. First is bowing. Bowing is really important in Korea, and we usually bow a 90 degrees bow like this to really important people like the president or older people. And then we just do a 45 degrees bow like this to just older people. But a 90 degrees bow is not very necessary for every day. You just do it to really important people like I said, like the president or people who is older than 60. And the second thing I'm going to talk about is putting your shoes off when going to other people's houses or your house. We usually wear no shoes in houses and it's really important because we think of cleaning and in Korea and in other countries we don't wear shoes in, in houses. Uh, no, we wear shoes in the houses usually but in Korea we don't wear shoes in houses. We usually in schools even we don't wear shoes in houses in the schools because we have shoes for indoor and we wear the shoes for indoor. Thank you. Hello, my name is Ellen. Today I will talk about Korean traditional instrument. There is a lot of Korean traditional instrument, but I will talk about kayagum and hegum and changgu. Kayagum is the, one of the most important national instruments of Korea. Kayagum have 12 string and some kayagum have 21 string or more. Hegum is percussive string instrument which is very popular in Korea these days. Tango is most used drum used in traditional music of Korea. The two head produce the sound of sound of different pitches which which when played together re represent the harmony of women and men. I think, uh, I think Korean traditional instruments are special because it is the only instrument for our country. I think, I think it makes a unique sound because like Changgu, it is not a sound like a drum but it is uh it is making a sound that only Jango can make uh, i think Jango is awesome because when uh in jirisan there was a teacher who plays Jango and he shows us showed us uh himori and it was so awesome i think himori is awesome thank you Hello, my name is Jacob. Today I'll talk about Yi Sun Shin Changun. Yi Sun Shin Changun was the first Korea admiral and hero in the history, and he was celebrated in the sea when the Japanese invaded in 1950s. Uh, he was the first um, person that drew Kobukson in the history, and in the when the Kobukson was made, um, the Kobukson was covered with iron armored plates, and the, on the side of the boat, there is cannons attached to it, but the cannon looks like dragons. Uh, the Kobukson was um, have known that to be the first ironclad um, battleship in the whole history that Isunshin had made. Um, but the great thing about Isunshin is that he was even shot by a gun, but he didn't still want to get Korea invaded by the Japanese soldiers, so he didn't tell anybody that he was dead. And in my opinion, that is, if I was him in the war, I would have ran away because I was scared. And I really respect um, Yi Sun Shin because he is the war of God. And if I can go out to the war with Yi Sun Shin, I would have loved to go out. Thank you. My name is Stephanie Tsao, present about Korean 
traditional food. Uh, first is samgyeopsal, and samgyeopsal is made with pig's belly. And many people like to eat this food, and many businessmen are eating this in dinner time. And this food is kind of bad because uh, there is many grease. Next is bibimbap, and bibimbap is made with vegetables mixed up with rice. And so people like to eat this food and also it's good for body because there's many vegetables. People can put their personal taste of vegetables in bibimbap. It's the Korean traditional food is special because it's one of the culture and for bibimbap it's hard to make it because of season. Long time ago these vegetables was grow in different seasons so they couldn't make food easily. So Korean foods are special to eat. Thank you. Hello, my name is Aida Choi. Today I'll talk about Korean old culture. There is many Korean old culture, but today I'll say only four of them. Because there is many things, but we have really many times. So I'll talk four of them. First one is drawing. There is many kinds of drawing now, but before there was only paint to draw it. So we can draw with paint only in before. And second one is making with mud. I going I am going to mud artist learning center because I want to be mud all this when I become a uh, other. And the time we can make with a ball with a mud and we can dry it with a fire and we can use it for eating stuff that putting in. And three third one is making a house. There is many houses now, but their time there was chokajip and hanok. But when it was that time, we can make chokajip with jeep, the like house eating things. And second one is hanok, and hanok can make with a uh, uh, something other things about cow's food. And last one is about making a hanbok. Hanbok can wear hanbok make hanbok is made up with pidan or son but if we are in summer time we can make with chan. And I thought about this one this our culture is really good because we can make and draw with something else and I felt about this is really good and this is fun. And thank you. Hello, my name is Elsa Villa, and today I will talk about the Korean War. The Korean War originally happened when Japan let Korea be a country again. When this happened, they needed a government and a president and people to rule the country. So Russia came to North Korea's aid to help them, um, well, be a country, and America came to South Korea's aid. When, but Russia wanted to ha be have the whole Korean ha wanted to have all of Korea be a communist uh, country so they tried to take it over at four in the morning they sent North Koreans down into um, from the border and they sent them down to kill everyone so that it could be all a communist but then when when they were all in Busan America noticed that they America wanted them to be a democratic um, country. So they came in from Incheon and um, Busan and they basically squished them until they, they were about to take it over when Japan, when China came, said they, China was a communist country too so they helped Russia to fight them back and then it was a little before the border when they decided to stop because they were killing too many men and it was just worthless. So they, um, when they did this, they decided to stop at the 13th par parallel where it is now the border from South Korea and North Korea. This, they made a truce that they would not, not fight anymore and to just like let it be. So what I think, what I feel about this is that, um, I think it was a very good truce for them to do, and I, um, I think that it was very sad for the people in this war 
that got killed to get killed because it was like they were killing their sisters and brothers and that wasn't very nice. Um, I like that I like the idea of the truce because it was really just worthless to keep fighting because then they would just keep fighting back and forth and killing a lot of more people and that would be devastating for both countries and um, I think that if I were in this war then I would have, well I would have, since we live near Ilsan, near Ilsan then I think if it, this would have happened like today, then I would have been killed because we were so close to the border. And um, I think that um, they were very smart to think of the truth. Thank you. Hello, my name is Anna. Today I will talk about Korea. Korea is a beautiful country. Korea is a country that have many different places and Korea is an awesome place because people in Korea can eat yummy foods and Korea has games too and Korea, there are many sports like soccer, basketball, golf and Korea has many big cities and Korea has South Korea and North Korea. Korea and China have a high levels of dust. It can hurt people and make people sick. And the dust came from China too. In Korea, the Lotte Tower. And the Lotte Tower is a massive tower. And the tower is in Seoul. And I think Korea is a beautiful place. And I wish Korea doesn't have to have Dust and I and Korea is a fantastic place and thank you. Hello, my name is Solomon. Today I will talk about Undu. Undu is Korean traditional floor heating. There are two parts of Undu. There is Gudejang and Gored. Gudejang has Akchar and above. Akchar is one one dirt that uh, very uh, were very good at uh, our body. Uh, that's uh, Akchar is uh, brown and 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 is one thing that uh, under Gudejang it, it can uh, take out ashes. And, and we need heating. We need to fire first. We need to fire on furnace. When we fire on furnace, it will uh, it warm. Uh, will stay the forty five days and, and go to a uh, uh, chimney. And and uh, and ha undo is he one heating that uh, is the most energy strategy on the world. I think Undo is 100% and better on now heating. I was surprised about Undo because Undo can stay warm for 45 days. And I think I need Undo on my house. And Undo is very awesome, I think. Thank you. Hello, my name is Bella Ju. Today I will talk about Seoul. My topic Seoul is capital of Korea. In Seoul, there are most people living in South Korea. And now I will talk about Seoul symbol. First, there is there is full city and it is symbol of Seoul and it is flower. And next, I will talk about symbol of Seoul and it is tree and it is ginkgo tree. And next. Uh, lastly, the, it is bird and it is magpie. I think Seoul is special because most of people live in Seoul and, and we can learn more of, uh, about the city if we can learn more about the country if we, if we see the capital of, see capital of the country or uh, city. So I think the Seoul is important and special to uh, to South Korea. Thank you. Hello, my name is Peter. Today I will talk about Korean traditional board game. And uh, there is many uh, Korean traditional board game. And uh, today I will talk about two board game and Jackie Chaggy board game and Inori board game. 
two games to pitching arrow into the small pot, and also it was a drinking game too. Chaggy Chaggy made in a small uh, queen of sides paper were closed, and the rule is to not fall the ball. The Yunuri is Korean traditional board game is built called Korean New Year. Yunuri consists of four sticks. How the Yafal, the cats that are mine, how the Yafal uh, token can be advanced. The score is based on number that how the Yafal the that over. Each combination has an each own name to get guardian no. I think that are special because uh, we can do we can play with more family and not watching the TV and more talking with family and there is uh, I think that is a memorable game board game because it is a, a before board game thank you Hello, my name is Shuri. Today I will talk about Korean holiday. Uh, we have many kinds of Korean holiday, but today I will talk about only two. Uh, first, I will talk about Children's Day. Children's Day is May 4 children and the date is uh, May 5th. Uh, second, I will tell you about the New Year. Day and uh, the date is January 1st and uh, I and New Year's Day is beginning of the year and I love New Year's Day because we can eat many kind of traditional food and we can uh, wear humble and uh, the Korean holiday is special to me because uh, we can rest and we can enjoy with family in that day and uh, I love my I love our country and when you come to our country then you will like it too. Thank you. Hello my name is Lois. Today I will talk about Hanbok. Hanbok is made of a Remy and then Hanbok is Korean traditional cloth and then Hanbok is made of everyone and then it is uh, uh, North Korea is made of everyone and then North Korea and South Korea use it. In North Korea you, we Call the chosen traditional cloth, and then in and then hanbok is made of remy, and the remy is called boshi. And then woman and man wears a different kind of hanbok, and then woman wears dress, and then man wears a pants. And then I think uh, hanbok is very amazing because it is made of a plant, and then I didn't know that plant's name is boshi, and then. Uh, I thought that was like a purple because it is the, when we make a hanbok it is made of like purple or very colorful but the plants is very green so I thought so I thought very interesting so I think hanbok is very interesting and then I wish I could make the hanbok thank you hello my name is Bella and today I'm gonna tell about Korean place I will tell one thing about Korean place named Ullungdo. Ullungdo is famous to ocean and there is many kind of fish and there is many fishermen too. And there has chief shape like elephant and so that called elephant chief and there has ocean, there has ocean, but ocean color is very lighter. So the the ocean color is very pretty, and many people love Ullungdo because of the ocean. And my op and the Ullungdo is special because then I. As I said, the many people love the Ullungdo and the Ullungdo has many fish. So I want to see that all fish and I want to see the elephant chief and I want to touch it. Thank you.